Christina. What? Oh, so now we're doing barks. American Girl, and even barks. So, what, give us a second to just strap her in and stuff. Um, we were just doing a video, but I'm kind of dumb, so we had technical issues, and we had to restart. So, that's why there was a little bit of confused beginning. Alright, so, now, we're gonna hook her up to the car. So, this is probably the first routine they're seeing. Yeah, this, we, we were just doing bars first. Bean. Bean, yeah, I always get mixed up. So, there will be false jumps to high bar, since so obviously non-existent high bar. Um, so, there will be, and you haven't seen the previous video, so she is elite level. So, the amount is obviously good if you know gymnastics, she is professional or Olympic level. So, let's go with the, uh, the bar routine. And, like she said, all what she's using is all-American doll, except for the bar which she's going to use. The I meant the ball, which she's going to use for vault. Because she has a little cheese wedge over there, but it's not big. Um, like I said in the last video, um, we, we, um, we do videos on each of our phones, so, like, right now I'm using my phone because her phone obviously needs to charge, but... It doesn't have storage left. Yeah. So he most likely will film videos on his phone and his channel. Well, technically, it's my mother's channel, but... <laughs> so, this is a release mega high bar called the Maloney. If you're unfamiliar with gymnastics, you may want to watch some gymnastics videos before watching this. And here comes the piked Takacha um, part skill. Oh yeah. That seems like we're... To Vermeer, or Jaeger, whatever it is. I don't really know my releases well, because they all look the same. Well, we got to do to me too, but... Um, one of my favorite gymnastics channels is Whitney Bierkin's channel. She's an amazing gymnast. And what level is she? She is level 10. USAG level 10. So, she is beautiful, amazing, and she's, she also writes songs, so, and sings. So, she's an amazing gymnast. I can write songs, but I can't sing them very well. And, um, if you're wondering how I feel about Anna LeBlanc, um, I love her music, don't get me wrong. Um, I just think her gymnastics career kind of went off train. Just don't I, watch Taylor Swift. I know hates it, and so do I. So, I just... I don't feel that Anna Blank really tried in her gymnastics. Like, she tried, but she didn't want to, like, be Olympic level ever. She just wanted to do it as a hobby. So, here was the pack salto. Beautiful skill. Two. I got a half. Um, when Hannah was talking about it, she kind of wa all she kind of, she just wanted to do it as, like, a hobby. I kind of just want to, um, I kind of, when I did karate, I kind of just did karate as a hobby. So I had something to do. And double layout. Excuse me for interrupting, but we do have to point out this map. Ooh, good job. So, now we'll do vault and we'll do beam at the end because we already did beam in another video that's not going to be posted because it, it was a... I thought you were going to get a ball for this. ...plot video. So, um, if you're wondering what this black is, it's a scrunchie. And it just helps to keep the legs together so that you don't have to hold them. Like, backpikes are very hard to do the doll. We have to hold their legs together. So if you can just do this, like this, spot the chin, spot the legs, then you're all set. So this is where I will need help from my cameraman. <laughs> just to hold that right there in place. So you probably cannot see her, but I'll do everything over here, like up in the air like I do it over here. So, here's the round off. Big air into the Yurchenko. Lay out, lay out. One and a, two and a half. Oh. <laughs> so double layout, two and a half, which is, by the way, a very hard skill. And then we're just gonna do some tricks. So lay out onto a springboard to double. So now we're going to go to floor. The floor is, so I'm actually 
actually going to move some stuff real quick. Because this mat is not big enough for a full floor routine. Just shoving the mat real quick. So that mat is not big enough for an actual floor. And if you were wondering why I had kind of like a camo thing on, it's because I'm wearing like a jumpsuit kind of. It's a hunting jumpsuit and I like to hunt, so, yep. We live in Maine, so it's snowing currently. Mm, not the best weather, I mean. Well, I'm personally not fond of snow. He loves snow. Well, that's why I like to shovel and sled and snowmobile. Okay, so we're going to move up here. I'll get up. So, I was just ignoring my cameraman. So, we're going to do start off with a nice beautiful snow loop, obviously. What can go wrong with a beautiful snow So, I'm going to separate the legs for the dance. As oh, hi, Pam. So, first skill, a big one. Aerial walkover. Two, back extension, roll. One of my favorite skills, actually. So watch, I cannot do a back extension yet. I am very close, when you say. I am very, very close. So, why are you covering that? The lighting? Yeah. Okay. So, we have some camera difficulties. Alright, so, into the round off. Back handspring. Light it. Full twist. To back pipe. <laughs> oh, I hear good fish. Uh, making some little jokes over there. So, well, pipe are a type of fish, I'm not lying. So, handstand. Front limber bounce over, which is fun. Whatever that is. And then back handspring and fight. <sighs> Up off the handspring. Back handspring. Alright, now for the tr tricky pass. The front layout. Hang on. We're gonna again. The front layout, step out, cartwheel, layout, step out, layout, step out. <laughs> Very complicated. I'm trying to step out of the way of this way. I'm getting hit. You're not gonna get hit. So I know. Split. Do this, do this, do this, do this. Walk over. Lay out. Step out. Half twisting. Lay out. Lay. Up. Roll. Out. And don't do this if you don't know how. Because you will hurt yourself. And don't do it at home. Do it at professional gym or something like that. Yes. Please do not try this at home without a super foot, without parent, parental supervision, or a trained coach. Please. Because we are not responsible if you hurt yourself doing gymnastics. So, finally, I'm going to move all this stuff back up under my bed. Where it was. Ah! That's his bird. Well, that's me talking to my bird. And partially his bird. So, hang on, I have to dig up that again. I'm gonna get really humid. So, and, <laughs> where are all the gonna react to? Beam. Beam. This is a low beam, so I have a high beam. If it seems a little glitchy, that's because of my phone. It's really a little bit. It, it's really a little bit. We're on an LG Rebel 4. Yes. So, not the best quality camera. We're just doing some. Stop real quick. It was also cheer, so multiply score. I might do some videos of the channel, like, I make go to my cousins and be stupid, and do, like, stupid stuff on a snowmobile. Yeah, that's, that's how boys work. Please, but, that's just how boys work. But, for you guys that watch this, you know what I'm talking about. It's so, fun. Jump up, to press, quarter, turn, step up, half. So I'm off with a really big pass. Or a series, I should say. We might do an. After I charge my phone, we might do another video on me. A little wobble, but that's okay. She just so She got wheelchair crutches and a foot cast, so. And we're hoping we don't need those. <laughs> we will do a doll hospital video eventually. I don't know when. Sometime. Hopefully. We'll do it in a... Like, after Thanksgiving, we'll probably do it, because we're both in different places on Thanksgiving, because we're not biological siblings. Nor are we really siblings. He just lives in my house. It's not quite our house. Yeah. It was my house before it was our house. Yeah. Well, technically it was my father's, but, you know, let's dish them. Ah, uh, you can't get technical terms. They're always technical. Just like I'm nine months technical terms. No, I'm technical. I'm not a year, but we'll, we'll ditch technical terms. Well, more like they only. Yeah, nine months. How many days are in January? 30. So, 7 is 23. So, technically, yeah. you're only nine months and 23 days. Wait, technically, you're only. How many days are in? April 30. I'm nine months and. Okay, so 20 subtract 30. I. No, I'm nine months and. No, because you'd be... I'm eight months and some odd days older than you. Um, seven. You're eight months and seven days older than me. No. Yeah? No. When's your birthday? January 7th. Yeah, I wasn't born on 14th. Oh, yeah. I, so, seven, 14 plus... Okay, let's oh, just get out of this and go back to my routine. So, she has finished her week. 
Alright, so he is. I am eight months and he twenty one. No. Math your math. Eight months and eighteen days. Okay. Right, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's right. Eight months and eighteen days. So technically rounded up to nine months, rounded no, up. No, you would round that to you would round that to eight. No. It's over fifteen. What's eighteen is more than fifteen. Yeah, but you round the one to the eight. You mean the eight? It would be round if you round eighteen, it would be the yeah. point. So twenty is way bigger than fifteen. Yes. If you if you're at half of thirty. But once you want to round to the whole, because it's like doing decimals. Once yeah. you want to round to the whole, the whole number is eighteen. Eight. Yeah. Eight point eighteen no. technically. No, it's not eight point eighteen. It's eight months and eighteen days. Yes, but if you're doing it as a decimal. Eight months. Eight months and eighteen days. Okay, let's stop arguing and just go back to me. No, eight months and eighteen days is if if you really wanted to turn that into decimal terms, it would be eight Why don't point we? six three days. So eight point six three okay, days. Okay, we'll so, do another video on this. No, we're not. We're gonna do this video now. So if you round eight point six three to the nearest whole, it would be nine. If you round nine to something out of twelve, it would round to ten, which rounds to twelve. We're doing complicated math. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I've already gone through the spring math. I think I know what I'm doing. Yes, but the decimal... Why wouldn't the decimal be... Never mind. Let's just get, go back. 8.18. Round is a decimal of 8.63 because... Okay, we'll talk about this after the video. Yes. So, bye. We'll, we'll do another video when we actually figure this out. Yeah. Alright, bye. Why are we... Do you still want to hold by everything? Yes. Oh. Okay, see you later, guys. Peace out. Don't forget to like, like comment, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Turn on notifications. Bye.